Here are the top three tools to edit MPG files in Final Cut Pro that are dead simple to use and best of all, free. I'll show you three tricks for getting those pesky MPG files into Final Cut Pro so you can get more miles per gallon out of your editing time. At the end, I'll show you how to edit MPG files once you've got them in Final Cut Pro. MPG for the win! Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro does not support MPG files. Watch this. If I try to import them, it won't work. I'll press Command I to open the import window and I'll navigate to my files and you'll see I have an MPG file right here. It's grayed out. I can't select it. If I try to drag and drop it into Final Cut Pro like normal, I get this no-go icon. So we have to convert it first. One thing you can do is to change the file name extension. I'm gonna duplicate this MPG clip. I'm gonna press enter. Then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change this to MOV and press enter. It says, are you sure you wanna change it? Yes, use.mov. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this into my timeline. And what do you know, it works. Here are seven Check it things out. I wish I knew five years ago about editing. Now your mileage may vary with this one. It might not work and it just depends on the MPG file that you have. But don't worry, I'll show you a way to convert your MPG files so that they will for sure work in Final Cut. All right, the first way to convert is to use Handbrake. This is some open source software for transcoding video. I'll put a link to it in the description. Click on download Handbrake. All right, it's downloading. We'll give it a second to download. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, that's done downloading. So I'll open up this DMG file. Let's move Handbrake into my applications folder. I'll just drag and drop it in here. Okay, Handbrake is now installed. So I'll press Command Spacebar and type Handbrake and open up the app and I'll click yes, I want to open it. And it's asking for us to find a source file. So I'll go to my file and I'm gonna convert this MPG file right here. I'll select it and click open. This looks a little bit confusing, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. For your preset, click on here and go to general. And by default, it selects fast 1080p 30 frames. That's pretty good, but let's say we want really high quality. Let's go down here to super high quality 1080p 30. We'll select that. And then let's go to video here and let's change our frame mate to match the source. The quality slider over here determines how high of a quality is. To reduce the quality, go to the left. To bake it better, go to the right. They suggest somewhere between 18 and 28. And let's go to audio and make sure it's at AAC. Looks good. Next, we need to browse where we want to save it. So we'll click browse and let's go to that same folder and select choose. And I want to change the name here. So I'm gonna say handbrake. And you'll see the format or the container is MP4. Now we just click start up here and Handbrake will do its thing. It'll convert it from MPG to something we can use in Final Cut Pro. All right, it's done. So let's go back to our finder and we'll see that file right there. Let's go to Final Cut Pro and let's import it. Command I. You can see we can select it and import it. And if we scroll down in the browser, we'll see it right here under MPEG4 movie. There it is, Dylan, MPG Handbrake. I'll add that to my timeline. And you can Seven see I wish it plays I just fine, ago, just like normal. And I can edit this clip just like any other video clip. Oh, doesn't that feel so good to know you can get your MPG files into Final Cut Pro? If you're enjoying this video and it's been helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up so other people will see the video? In just a little bit, I'm gonna show you 10 tools I like to use in Final Cut Pro to edit videos. But first I wanna show you one more way to get MPG videos into Final Cut Pro. And that's called VLC Player. I'll link to this in the description as well. Just click on download VLC. All right, once that's downloaded, just click on the DMG file to open it up and then drag the VLC icon into the applications folder. Then open up VLC by pressing command spacebar and typing VLC and open up the app. Say yes, open it. Oh, we won't check for uh, updates yet. Go up to file in the menu bar and select control stream or press shift command S. Now open up the media you want to convert. Let's go grab that MPG file right there. Now select customize, go to video codec and change codec to MPEG-4 and under audio, change it to AAC and then click apply. Select save as file. Let's find out where we wanna save it. Let's save it right in there and we'll call it the VLC version. Very lucky coding. Click save and then save. Let VLC do its thing. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro and we'll click on the import button here. And here we have the VLC version. We can click on that and we can select import selected and then scroll down in the browser. And this is under Apple MPEG-4 version. And we can select this and add it to our timeline and we can trim it and treat it just like any other video clip and it works just fine. I wish I knew five yes. years ago.
So if you have a handful of MPG files and you're trying to edit them in Final Cut Pro, all is not lost. You can convert them and add them to Final Cut Pro and continue editing. Now that you've got your MPG files in Final Cut Pro, I put together my top 10 tools for editing video. And I put that together in a video. Click here to check it out.